Hi, my name is Ivan Bishop. I'm a Partner Solutions Architect with AWS, and I've worked here for about two years with partners across many market verticals. I've been lucky enough to work with the Pivotal Green Plum team as one of my partner accounts for over a year. What a great machine learning demo of how we can isolate, investigate, and classify activities. They may be fraudulent on credit cards or POS systems it was. If we were together in a real hall right now and I said, hands up, who's at that phone call from a financial institution asking to verify transactions on their cards? I see lots of hands. Yeah, me too. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about how some of the Amazon AWS security features and services could be applied to this application flow. I'll address the Amazon Simple Storage Service S3 and talk a little about the streaming data service Amazon Kinesis and also Amazon Lambda, which is an event-triggered serverless compute environment. For those of you who may be new to the Amazon Simple Storage Service, Amazon S3, what is it? It's an object store service that offers industry-leading scalability, availability, security, and performance. S3 is durable, designed for 11 nines of durability, and is used by companies the world over to store mission-critical data. S3 supports both server-side encryption with three key management scenarios and client side encryption for data uploads. Is it a good choice for storing credit card or post swipe data? Yes, it is. It's assessed by the third party auditors and is payment card industry data security standard PCI DSS compliant. SG is secure by default. When you create a bucket, only the owner and the administrator gets access. And the slide you see right now is a summary of our policy access. I'll leave that while I talk. Now, you develop your fraud detection application and you want the data from your POS systems and our card swipes to stream in via Kinesis and land securely in S3. So the question, how do you make sure that your builders, your inventors, your innovators are satisfying not only the business need, that's why they invent after all, but do it as securely as possible? How do we begin securing this flow? You leverage the AWS security features and services built for years of experience. This makes not only the ingestion via the Kinesis stack secure, but ensures when processes leverage their granted IAM permissions to access S3 data, their actions are finally filtered and logged. So the correct minimum combination of access rights is granted and logged. What steps could we follow here? Firstly, create and apply appropriate permissions and policies for IAM roles. These roles control access to S3 buckets, Lambda functions, and Kinesis streams. Secondly, for the secure global S3 access using the Amazon S3 block public access feature announced in reInvent in 2019. This feature gives you the ability to block existing public access for a specified via an ACL or a policy and to ensure that public access is not granted to newly created items. Thirdly, set up logging monitoring using Amazon CloudTrail and CloudWatch. Lastly, run AWS IAM Access Analyzer, also known as reInvent in 2019, to identify the resources in your account, such as Amazon S3 buckets and IAM roles that are shared with an external entity. As of March 2020, IAM Access Analyzer is integrated with IAM roles, S3, KMS keys, Lambda, and SQS, a simple queue service. The analyzer runs continuously and monitors for new updated policies analyzes permissions granted using policies for S3 buckets and keys. Also, you can use the S3 inventory feature to check the encryption status of your S3 objects. And lastly, review the output of your analyzer and the data presented in CloudWatch logs. Now let's get back to the architecture of our machine learning fraud detection system and we've covered S3 identity management a little. What can we do to start securing this environment? Well, we could apply the appropriate policies to each of the IAM roles, SV buckets, Lambda, Kinesis, to filter, restrict, and generate records for audit. Look at stage two, for example, in this flow. She would deliver raw payload into the Greenplum database via an SV bucket via the PXF framework. Greenplum pulls data from S3. What you can see in this slide on the left-hand overlay panel is end-to-end -end encryption for Kinesis streaming into S3. And this is done using IAM policies and roles. It uses the KMS key management system and provides very secure data writing into S3. Next, we look at the S3 buckets themselves. And we've talked about this already. 
We can use IAM to apply policies on roles to tie down who can access the buckets. You use CloudWatch to look at who has been accessing the buckets and when. You can also use S3 inventory, block public access, and the IAM analyzer to carefully monitor and restrict access to these buckets. Lastly, we're going to look at Lambda very quickly. In terms of Lambda, we can use IAM policies again to restrict who can trigger the event that pulls data from S3 into the Unicorn database. That's it, a very quick summary of things we can look at to begin securing this flow. Thank you very much.